Hey everyone, EB Bayburst here, back with another video, and today, I got Zest Achilles. So this is the new Zest Achilles customized set by Chikara told me. Uh, I believe this is B201, yeah it is, and this bay has 48 modes, so I'm super excited to unbox this thing. Uh, you get Zest Achilles, which is the evolution of Infinite Achilles, uh, the new four armor, and the legal disc, and Quattro Dash. Along with Chain Phoenix with the two armor, Fortress, Metal Never, and looks like Hollow Ragnarok uh, with the 1D chassis. So I'm super excited to open this, so let's just tear it open. Uh, what's kind of funny is when I was. <laughs> what happened was when this arrived, I was actually in the middle of brushing my teeth. So I ran outside with a bunch of toothpaste dripping down my face. <laughs> I probably looked insane, but I grabbed it and then ran out back inside and then finished. But yeah, I probably looked crazy. But uh, anyway, here's Dust Achilles. Um, we have the stickers here. Oh boy, that's a lot. And we got the bays here. So we have Hollow Ragnarok, Zest Achilles, and Chain Phoenix. So I'm gonna open it, and I'll be back when all the parts are up. Before we get into Zest Achilles, I'm gonna start with Hollow Ragnarok. So it comes with this white tool for the Zest Achilles, which is pretty neat. And you get the A gear, which I'll go into the A gear later. Uh, for for Hollow Ragnarok. Uh, you got this really nice gold Hollow Ragnarok, which is really nice. It looks kind of orange in some of the photos, but in real life it actually is like full gold. And it looks really nice. So Hollow originally came on Hollow Death Scyther, and it's not too easy to get, so that's nice. I do have Hollow already, but it's nice getting another one. And you get the 1D chassis. So Ragnarok chip's not very good. 1D's just okay, and Hollow can be used in some combos. But overall, nothing that special. So now onto the next bay. The next bay you get is Chain Phoenix. So this is Chain Phoenix looking really nice. Uh, I really like this colorway. Like it looks so cool with the like the ghosty white and black color. Really cool. And of course you get that Phoenix core in black, which I'll show after on the black prominence. I'm so happy to get this because I've been wanting to make my five prominence Phoenix for a long time. Uh, you get the two armor. Uh, two armor is not too good. I won't take it off for, well, yes I will. Two armor is just okay, but it's been reused many times, and chain is pretty cool because it's only been released twice. Uh, then you get the fortress disc. Uh, this is pretty good. How many stars did I get? Looks like one star. Yeah, fortress is pretty cool. Uh, pretty good for attack, I think, and decent for stamina. And then finally you get a new driver, which is metal never. And I'm really happy about this because I don't have the normal never, never driver yet. Uh, so I'm going to be putting this on my Cyclone Ragnarok. Really cool driver, and the only difference between this and the normal Never is that it has a metal lock now. So that's it for Chain Phoenix. Now onto the main event. The final bay in this set is Zest Achilles. So I'm going to go over the driver first. So this is Quattro Dash. Um, the original Quattro came on Astro Spurgeon. Uh Basically its gimmick is that it has four modes. And the problem with the original Quattro is that the spring is really weak, which causes the bay to burst easily. But now we have a dash spring on there, which makes it harder to burst. Uh, if you don't know the modes on this already, you get balance mode, which is like the Unite driver. You get defense mode, which is a metal ball. Then you get this rubber flat, which is like extreme kind of. And you get this little metal sharp tip, which is for uh, stamina. So that's all the modes on Quattro Dash. I'm really happy with this driver because I love Quattro and it's this really nice uh, red color. It's kind of like a metallic red kind of, which if you're curious, this is how it looks on Astro Spurgeon. Much tighter, so that's really cool. Uh, then for the legal discs, here's a legal. I don't know how heavy this thing is, but uh, we got two stars. This thing's really cool. It kind of reminds me of the, the ring disc from season one. I believe. Um, yeah, it kind of reminds me of that with how, how it is. And it also reminds me of Outer. And if you compare it to the Overdisc, they're both pretty similar. In fact, this is so hollow that you can actually fit over inside of it. It's just kind of funny. But um, yeah, very cool disc. I don't know how good it'll be, but I'm assuming it'll be good since uh, it's a circle. And then finally for the lair, you got Zest Achilles. This looks really cool. Um, the gimmick with this Achilles is that it's dual spin. So with all the other Achilles bays, there were only right spin, but this one can go left and right spin now. Uh, you get the four armor, which is brand new, and I'll show you the parts on this thing. Here's the Achilles core. 
Uh, I've heard the teeth are pretty much like just okay. Like, kind of like Valkyrie 2 teeth I've kind of heard, but I'm gonna have to compare them out later. Um, then you get the four armor, which the four armor I'm, I'm pretty sure is gonna be good, just cause it's a similar shape to Zero uh, for Master Spurgeon, and Zero was really good. So hopefully it's heavy. And then finally for the Zest Blade, it's, it's actually really thin. In fact, it's way too thin, I think. I feel like it should have been thicker. And when I'm not a huge fan with this Achilles, one thing I'm not a huge fan of is that with all the other Achilles veils, you can see that they're all really uh, aggressive. Like they have a really aggressive shape in the attack modes. But on this one, it's kind of more circular. Like it still has a good shape for attack, I'd say, but they made it a dual spin, which means they had to make it more round so that I could work in both left and right spin. But yeah, this is still pretty good. I've heard it's actually really good for attack still. And there's left spin side if you want to see it. So with the attack mode on right spin, you basically put it underneath, I believe. Uh, let's see how this thing works. I haven't used it yet. So you put it underneath, I believe. One sec, I'm gonna cut to when I have it working. It's actually really simple. You just put it on like this. So you can change it from attack mode to defense mode, where you put it on the bottom. There we go, and it just lines up in these two slots here. Then for less spin mode, you get less spin attack, so the swords will be on the top and bottom. And then for defense, less spin, I believe, it's just the same. So you just put it like that and you have your more defensive shape. So I'm probably gonna keep this thing mainly in right spin attack mode, just cause that's how Achilles usually is. Uh, so that's it. So I'm gonna put it together. We're gonna see how it looks with the stickers on, and I'm gonna feel the teeth. So right now, the teeth. Mmm. It's okay. It's like. Let me see. Compare it to Astro Spurgeon. Spurgeon feels tighter. I don't know. This one. I don't know. This one just feels a bit weaker. I don't know though. And then for Quattro, which is Garbage Spring, really weak, just like Astral Spurgeon with it. So that's about it for this bay. Now for the stickers on all the parts. Hey, I'm back. So with these two, I didn't put the stickers on yet just because I'm debating on whether I should. I'll think about that later. Uh, for Zest Achilles, here it is well the stickers. Uh, looking pretty good. I feel like it's a little over-designed. Like, I feel like the core has like way too much going on. I feel like... It should have only had this middle sticker here on the shield, and then maybe these parts on the sides. But I feel like it's just way too much detail, and it looks a little uh, tacky. But other than that, I think it looks really good. Um, in terms of stickers, like how hard they're, they are to put on, these ones here, the little Zs on it, uh, they're also inside here too, when you take off the armor. They're really hard to put on, so be careful with that because I ended up messing up one one of them, kind of. But uh, other than that, very cool bear. Looks really awesome. And for Divine Belial, here it is with the Aegir. And so far, I'm not liking the Aegir, because it doesn't fill the problem with Divine, because Divine has this little gap here, and neither of the modes on Aegir end up solving that, because in attack mode, you still have this giant gap here, and the wing spans over here, which I don't know why they did that. Like it should have just filled in here, even if it could have only had one mode. But yeah, in the other mode, uh, which is kind of similar, it's kind of similar to to uh, Brave Valkyrie, where it has like the mode change on the chassis. Um, there it is. If you just want to see it, it just kind of covers that there, which I'm assuming is not going to be very good. But yeah, Divine. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm gonna have to test this more when I test it with the Aegir. But um, other than that, that's about it for uh, going over the bays. So let's compare it to the other Achilles. So I don't have Union Achilles, but I have the original Z Achilles, which I, you can compare, compare it to, which holy, the size difference is huge. Like, look at that. This thing really evolved into this. Like, that's just insane to me. And then I have the Black Chosy Achilles, which I don't feel like going, going and grabbing. But uh, I have infinite here, and I'm gonna be honest. I feel like infinite 
like the design on infinite looks better and by the way i am using trans if you noticed yeah i feel like the design on infinite is just better but yeah zest isn't bad i do like zest but now we're just gonna do a test launch so let me go grab the stadium we have the stadium i'm not gonna be showing every single mode but i am gonna be showing right spin with the attack mode attachment and defense mode so it does look really cool really nice bear and yeah very stable i do like it and now time for divine belly oil so i'll do a test launch with this one if you want to see it you can you can kind of see the red uh you see the a gear on it yeah it has a slice of tomato on it now tomato for the burger and then I guess I'll show Chain Phoenix if you want to see that. Looking very cool. It just looks so neat, like that smoky gray color. Really awesome. And then I guess I'll put the parts onto Chain Ragnarok if you want to see that. And then I think we'll end the video with that. Jumpy. Okay. Down Ragnarok. Anyway, that's about it for uh, these biz. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, overall, do you think? Do I think this is worth it? Um, I haven't done any battles yet, but I'm gonna say it is worth it because you get lots of cool parts. Uh, you get Quattro Dash, of course the new Achilles, all these mode changes and everything. You got all these parts here, which are really cool. I just feel like it's worth it. Like if you can get it uh, for a good price, I'd say it's worth it because you get a lot of value in it, I'd say. Anyways, if you enjoyed that unboxing, like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.